The fuel hose carries fuel from the tank to the carburetor. It's common for the fuel lines to harden and crack over time. If fuel is left sitting in the tool for long periods of time, it will cause the hose to harden faster. Cracked fuel lines lead to potentially dangerous fuel leaks. If your engine is leaking fuel, you should stop using it and fix the leak immediately. Replacing your engine's fuel hose is a repair that you can do yourself, and I'm going to show you how. Hi, I'm Mark Socha. Do-it-yourself repairs like these are easier than you might think. From lawn machines to cordless grills, kitchen mixers, outdoor grills, our how-to videos walk you through each repair from start to finish. So doing it yourself means never having to do it alone. Let's get started. Before you perform any repairs to your engine's fuel system, be sure to empty the fuel from the fuel tank. I've already done so, so let's get started. I'll remove the air filter cover to get better access to the fuel line. I'll remove the fuel line clamp and then pull the fuel line from the carburetor. I'll remove the clamp from the end of the hose. Now I'll remove the plastic trim from around the fuel tank. Now I can remove the fuel tank. It's held in place by three fasteners. Now I can remove the fuel line from the underside of the tank. I'll remove the clamp and pull the fuel line from the fitting. Now I can install the new fuel line. I remove the clamp from the old fuel hose and I'll install it on the new. Now I'll install the line onto the tank fitting and secure it with the clamp. Now I can reinstall the tank assembly back onto the engine. I'll route the fuel line underneath the throttle linkage. Align the tank with the brackets on the engine and secure it with the screws. Now I can reinstall the trim piece. I'll route the fuel line through the opening. 
align the trim piece with the engine, and secure it with the screws. Now I'll reattach the fuel line. I'll reinstall the clamp, slide the fuel line onto the carburetor, and secure it with the clamp. And I'll finish up by reinstalling the air filter cover. And now you know how to install a new fuel hose on your small engine. Be sure to check back often for new videos and expert advice. If you found this video helpful, give us a thumbs up and leave a comment.